Hello and welcome to David Baker Series 2, Programme 2, How to Make the Perfect Chips. Um, I call it Dave Bourguignon. It's um, a mince tomatoey sauce kind of wonderfulness. So Dave Bourguignon plus the perfect chips. And no messing about, but straight in. I show the ingredients. 500 grams of mince there, 500 grams of mince. Get that out on the out there, straight out there, and some tomatoes, right? So you got your tomatoes there. Chop them up. That's going to have to be all chopped up. I'll, I'll do that while you're watching. We won't cheat, right? So get rid of that. You need some lard, some kind of lard in the pan. Just make it in the pan. there right okay and the chips what you need for chips is a chip pan chip pan rapeseed oil lovely lovely golden rapeseed oil right so chips take about 10 to 20 minutes so what you use is two potatoes peel them peel them and then you need to chop them and put them in the while you're warming that always put a cover on very important health and safety because you don't want a chip fire you always need a cover on your chip pan which has got oil in it so quick Quick now, I'll just do the chips quick. Put some music on, I feel better. This is this is Sea and Wind Instrumentals and Inclement Interludes. This is supposed to be a swarm of butterflies. So you've got to get, get, it's best to have your chips already chipped before you put the pan on the heat. See what I'm doing? Is I'm putting these, chopping them into chip shapes. Rapeseed oil is the best. Rapeseed oil is definitely the best. The best results. Nice and clear as well. Don't use, keep, don't spare on the oil. Always use the best ingredients to get your best chips. Don't use oil that's got loads of bits in it from last time. Right, so we're nearly there. This is enough for two people for two to three people really so there might be a little bit left over the main thing is to enjoy your cooking enjoy keep safe don't cut yourself don't cut yourself when you slice anything show you. Always cut away, always cut away from yourself, give yourself plenty of room. If anything falls and gets gets dirty, wash it, wash it. So anyway, that wasn't dirty anyway, just an example. So those are your chips, they go in your chip pan.
Always have plenty of metal things around. But later what you'll need is one of these colander kind of things to scoop your chips out. Ideally. It's what you need. So if we've got a timer on for 20 minutes for the chips, that should be okay. And while the chips are cooking, you can do it either your mince first and do all that thing and then do your chips to finish, or you can do them both at the same time like me. So this is in real time, David Baker. Washing up as we go along. Recycling. Okay, so you want to really chop your onions and your to go in a nice pan here. So get your lard in the pan. You can use cooking oil. You can use rapeseed oil. How's that for an idea? Or lard. You need a stirrer. Obviously, you need a spoon as well. Just have a couple of wooden things going. You know, you can do this kind of thing. Got too much lard on your knife. Get that straight in. Put the lard back in the fridge. We've got the tomatoes and the mints. Here's some chopped onions, which I did chop up earlier, save time. You can always use a sieve. So fine. There you go, you've got your sieve going. Very handy. Very handy indeed. Right, so put this on the heat when you're ready. And you'll put all this mixture in. First you'll put the mince in and then you'll add the other stuff that's been chopped up. So I'll just chop up the other stuff a bit more. While you listen to the rain. This is on iTunes this. There you go. Sea and wind. Intervals and doing the Clemens interludes or something. So you're just chopping up all the mints, chopping up all the tomatoes, chopping up all, all the onions, everything. And you're going to make a sauce with a sauce thing. Actually, that goes in there. The heat you want is quite high for this.
shape. You've got your chips bubbling away there. You've got time is on 16. So hopefully this should all be done in 16 minutes. I'll just go and fry all the just go and fry all the mince. Just go and fry the mince now. So, I fry all the mint separately. Fry all the mint separately. You can use chopped tomatoes, they were already done for you in a tin. But fresh tomatoes, fresh onion, bit of salt. A bit of pepper. I think it's better. After about four or four or five minutes, you want to turn, turn your chip pan down because it will be bubbling away, really, really, really bubbling away. So after about a few minutes, maybe three minutes, turn it down. Seventeen minutes. I think it's going to be too. I think it will be done in about ten minutes now. It's our perfect chips. So you need to get all the plates ready and all the tray ready. Here's one I made earlier. Folks, you got your tray just under your cooker, and you can just put everything on the tray on the plates. Take it straight in. Just look in the mints now, camera there. Clements and Toulouse. Beautiful. Beautiful music to cook by. It's on iTunes. Okay, so this is how your mints should be looking. See, a little bit pink in places, so you need to keep that going to have it well done.
Right, so pièce de résistance is the gravy. So for this you need a gravy boat. And some Bisto gravy. Legal reasons I can't tell you what kind of gravy to use. Ooh, ah! I just use the granules. Stick some granules in there. A bit more. I suppose probably about two tablespoons. It's not, it's not an exact science. Well, two tablespoons. These spoons. Not tablespoons, not big spoons, small spoons. That one, that'll do. Boil the kettle. And this is onion gravy granules. Because you've got onions. Okay, so ne next you want the tomatoes and the onions to go in with the mince. Onions first, then tomatoes. I think they get a bit browner that way. For the mince and the onions, you need a high heat pretty much all the time with the gas. So, if you're using an electric, you know, accordingly, what a high setting. I'd say about seven or eight on electric. If it's seven, that's seven out of ten. But Dave Bourguignon, I'll give it. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I'm biased. I mean, obviously, you need red wine to go with it. It's bugging you. Red wine, and you add that to the mixture. And that's what makes it 10 out of 10. But this is an 8 out of 10. Okay? For those who are driving, being responsible people and not drinking. So it's the non alcoholic Dave. Ooh, beer, Anyone can put a load of wine in, you know. I'm not Graham Kerr, I'm not the Golden Girl, mate. I've got to play the piano. Okay, so all the tomatoes go in there. This will always keep till tomorrow. If you made too much, I mean, you can always put it in the fridge a little bit. Oh, here we go. Just wash it up a bit. Just in time for the sea. Use any, any, any wash it up like me. Fried tomatoes, fried onion, fried mint. You've got your gravy granules there. Get some boiling water on them. I think you probably only need a 
about that much. <laughs> it's about 200 mil. It's quite thick. If it looks too thick, put some more water in it. See, it's wrong there. 300 mil, 300 mil. You can add this to the mince mixture. It tastes brilliant. Now once it's all cooked, then you can just put it onto simmer so you can turn the heat down. Have a look at see how the chips are going. Health and safety. Not too bad, so I'd say another four minutes, you know, 20 minutes for chips. Because you want your chips golden brown. I'm not an advert for that song, by the way. This is a good one. Not a bad penis. Here we go. Gravy. So you've got your mints, the tomatoes, and of course if you're vegetarian, use corn mints. Beautiful. The trick with the chips is to have a chip basket, big pan, chip basket, rapeseed oil, the chips in there, and always have the pan on top. You don't want the chip fire. You can take the pan off and have you keep, keep looking every now and again to see if they've gone golden brown. When they have done, you can put them on the plate straight away, they're ready to go. Serve it all, a couple of cups of tea and you're ready to go. Making Tea as well. Two tea bags, teapot. Kettle, pan. Tea for two. Go and spin it up with a bit more tea later. Watch out though, it gets very hot. The kettle, use a glove. Not like I just did then. And you can just put that onto boil when you, when you take it all through. So it's getting there now. You need milk in the cups. Three sweetener. No sugar if you don't like sugar, nothing in it, no sweetener. Leave the tea a couple of minutes. So what are we on? We're at 26 minutes from start to finish. We're going to finish this in about half an hour. I think we can.
that's been 20 minutes with the chips. So they're not quite done. I'll just turn the heat up a bit. I'll turn the heat down quite a bit. And that's it. Thank you, thank you. So you can start putting this on the plates now. This is what you need. That's what you mince and everything looks like, you mince and your, your onions, tomatoes. Now you could put your chips on a separate plate, you know. Good idea, or in a bowl. Then add salt and vinegar. Do you need salt and vinegar? So there's your chips, perfect golden brown. At this point, gas all off, health and safety. Gas is gonna be all off. It's getting hot in this kitchen. It's good stuff. So I'll just show you. Finished product. That's it. So I'll just take this through, just put some salt and vinegar on it. And that's it. Just enjoying the music. Put the tea out. Add the, uh, the boiled water. So you've got more tea to follow up. Tea cozy on, ready to go.